Good evening, American astronauts. <laughs> On August 5, 1968, the Vanderbilt Television News Archive recorded its first programs. Now, with more than 60,000 hours of searchable content, the News Archive records nationally broadcast nightly news programs, as well as special events like the Senate Watergate hearings and the appearances of the sitting presidents of the United States. Its beginnings date back to March of 1968, when a Nashville, Tennessee insurance executive, Paul Simpson, approached the university about creating such an archive. He explains why there was a need for a repository like this. Well, we think when you look back on the history of the 60s in the United States, that it would be most important to have a permanent record of these television news programs because we think they will have had an effect on the course of events. Uh, as you know, newspapers, magazines, and books are available in most all of the libraries throughout the United States. We visualize that the time will come when the, each of those libraries will also have a television library. It is certainly a very important news media, and at the present time is the only news media that is not kept and is not made available for scholars and historians to study. Paul Simpson was right, and he was wrong. Simpson was wrong in thinking that other libraries would actually develop or decide to tape the evening news. That didn't really happen. Vanderbilt remains alone and unique in its collection of the television evening news from this time period. He was right, Simpson was right, in understanding that these broadcasts in their entirety do provide a window into understanding the late 1960s, 70s, and 80s, particularly at a time when network television news dominated the landscape. It was when most Americans got their information from the network television news. My students use it to understand how Americans of that time understood things like like the Vietnam War, the developing civil rights revolutions, uh, women's rights, gay rights. They use it even to understand commercial advertising and how that has transformed over the years. This remains really a unique resource at Vanderbilt University. It is one of the things that really does set our library's collection apart. Generally, I'm interested in issues of social and criminal justice, and specifically, I'm interested in understanding how activists leverage the media to press for social and political change. When I first came to the archive in 2015, I quite literally was blown away by the enormity of material that's included in the collection. And I've really begun to think about the material and the collection that exists at the Vanderbilt Television News Archive as really a snapshot or a portal into our national collective consciousness and a real opportunity for researchers to access material that allows them to answer those big, timely, and important questions. In addition to the real richness of the material included in the collection, when a researcher comes to the archive, they're immediately greeted by a very friendly, professional, and highly skilled staff of archivists and curators who really are there to help you execute your research agenda at every phase of the project. Therefore, I would encourage those who are curious about those topics that reside at the intersection or the margins of issues related to the media, history, politics, society, or culture to come and explore the material that exists at the collection. I know I, for one, have begun to refer to the archive as my research home away from home. So from my perspective as the head of a nonprofit news organization, the Vanderbilt Television News Archive is a national treasure. It's critical and essential because it preserves part of our history. What we do as in our project is we create short form documentaries that help citizens relearn and re-experience both the breaking news event from decades ago, but also how it applies to them today. And we couldn't do that work. We couldn't analyze or learn lessons from the way stories were covered if we didn't have this amazing treasure and resource of the Vanderbilt Television News Archive. So civic literacy has to be an essential part 
of our education, both for students and for the general public. It's something that is so important and I think has really been lost. And the only way to really promote civic literacy, or the best way from my perspective, is to look back. To look back at the news events, to re-experience them, but also to the way they were covered, the way they were portrayed. They're really valuable lessons for our society about the way press and media cover events, the way they're unfolding, and frankly, the long tail of the news cycle. We've gotten to a place where everything is moving so quickly, and how do we get people to stop and take stock and understand that we've experienced many of these things before, and there are real valuable lessons in our history. And I think that's something that we care a lot about and that the Vanderbilt Television News Archive allows us to do, but allows any documentary filmmaker to do. They can browse and experience and live and remember and feel those moments in a visceral way from watching. For over 50 years, the Vanderbilt Television News Archive, keeping the past for the future.